The nylon mud pot, also known as the slow one, is a geological phenomenon located north of nylon, California, near the Salton Sea, an area of significant geological instability due to the proximity of the San Andreas Fault. This mud pot, or mud spring, is unique due to its significant movement, a rarity among such geological features. It formed around 1953 and for decades remained a typical stationary mud pot. However, around 2007, it began to move westward. By April 2018, the Nyland geyser had moved 280 feet from its original site, leaving behind an unstable and wet trail of ground. The Nyland geyser is a site of geological interest due to its continuous release of carbon dioxide underground, which has contributed to its formation and movement. It is one of approximately 33 mud pots and mud volcanoes near the southeastern shore of the Salton Sea, often associated with fault lines, although the Nyland geyser is an outlier to this pattern. Interestingly, in the past, the geyser's movement was much slower, about 20 feet per year in 2018, but it accelerated to 10 feet per month by 2022. The movement and growth of the geyser have had significant impacts on local infrastructure. By March 2021, the Nyland geyser had reached Old Highway 111, the Kinder Morgan Petroleum Pipeline and had passed underneath elevated Verizon fiber optic cables. It previously disrupted the Union Pacific Railroad's tracks, necessitating their reconstruction. Due to the geyser's movement, a new section of Highway 111 had to be rerouted 100 feet to the west of the old road. The mud pot's temperature is relatively low, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and it emits a considerable amount of water, approximately 40,000 gallons per day, which has led experts to refer to it as a mud spring rather than a pot. In June 2018, Imperial County declared an emergency due to the geyser's movement. Efforts to control, drain, or stop the migrating mud spring were unsuccessful. Union Pacific initially constructed a 75-foot deep wall in an attempt to stop the mud spring's progress, but it simply moved underneath and beyond this barrier. The railroad had to create a temporary alternate track known as a shoe fly to route around the migrating mud as it moved past the original tracks. The Nyland geyser's movement and the challenges it poses to infrastructure highlight the dynamic nature of geological processes and the difficulties in predicting and mitigating their impacts. The costs and efforts required to manage the geyser's effects on transportation and utilities underscore the interaction between natural phenomena and human endeavours. And what is your opinion of how this geyser problem can be solved before it causes even more damage? Please leave your opinion in the comments and subscribe to the channel to stay updated.